Tell me, where are you? Like location wise in the country? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I'm in North Carolina. North Carolina. Are you born and raised? Born and raised in North Carolina. That's right. Mm, North okay, Carolina. That's a, weather seems to be um, important. Oh, it's very important to me for sure. The constant from the constellation to early morning, getting that sun. It's it's very important to me. Very very <laughs> very important. Well, well, interesting because already there's this, um, this this young guy sitting here outside in nature uh, with the sunshine. The other thing when we're talking about feelings and, and it's coming to your business, the fact that you named your business Candy Yams Kickback, to me, I feel Candy Yams is a a soulful food. You know, you think you a lot of times you eat it around Thanksgiving. It's uh, it's sweet. You take this whole potato. So tell me, how does that show up in your business? Like, what is Candy Yams Kickback? Oh, man. So you almost you almost read my whole mission statement, to be honest with you. Um, so we had this crazy, great cookout. People just pulling up from everywhere. And I was like, man, I wonder how I can recreate these times and moments with my friends, right? When we have conversation. Well, generally, when I, you know, some of my close friends know that I talk to them in movie quotes because I'm a huge movie person. Hmm. So um, I, I said, well, I wonder if people will come out to an event where we talk about a film and have conversation, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so because and it is there for that. Yams, to your point earlier, is about gathering. It's about family. It's about harmony during the times of year where we remember it most. So when you hear candid yams, I want you to connect directly back to Thanksgiving's, the Christmases, the gatherings with your family. And then a kickback is just that. It's not a party. It's a kickback for us to have a conversation about life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness through film and conversation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was going to say earlier, with the film piece, what I found out is about film therapy and film psychology through all of this. Mm. And I and I found out that you could use film and conversation to um, to position conversation in a way where we're, you know, where we're deal- all of us are dealing with humanity, right? And dealing mm-hmm. with uh, how we get through quote unquote life. And as a- So next thing, so we're talking about movies. So yesterday, have you ever seen Drumline? Drumline? Mm-hmm. Yes. So I, I was compelled to watch that movie again. I've seen it many times. So I'm going to go with the question is, what are the lessons that you would point out from that movie? Oh, man. Uh, so perseverance, number one. Mm-hmm. Uh, with him coming from uh, New York to Atlanta, moving and taking his talent to a different space. East Coast right? to the South. That's right. Yes. The war that he had to embrace in that movie was the fact that he couldn't read music and he was demoted from the drum line until he learned that skill. And he hated it at first. He wasn't on the field at all. And they mm-hmm. and, and the doc asked him asked him to come and join them. And this what's interesting is that I almost had a similar experience of you know, except for the fact that I actually got kicked out of the band and I actually could not perform for my other bandmates. So this is why I watched it. Okay, so this is your story. So you were already showing up. And I was sitting there yesterday. I was like, I'm feeling like I'm, I'm supposed to be watching this movie again. And, and mm-hmm. P.D. Pablo was featured in that movie. Where's P.D. Pablo from? North Carolina, isn't he? <laughs> North Carolina, come on and raise come, up. Come, come on, see. 